Hi, today's the 17th of January 2021, but this is the news from Zimmer Peacock for the week starting the um, 11th of January um, 2021. So the first piece of news is um, we put out a little um, sort of piece of news about a nitrate sensing rig that we made to make this nitrate sensor for measuring the nitrate in soil. In order to do that kind of testing, we've effectively just made a um, a test rig that we can fill with soil and we put it on and it's on wheels so we can kind of wheel it around a bit. Um, we realize there's quite an R and D community interested in monitoring nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in soil. We do have all those sensors, um, and when I think we're going to put a little note up on how to actually build that kind of rig or jig so that people can actually test um, our sensors for their application and they can have a test rig in order to do it. So we did put some news out about the test rig um, this week. Some other news um, from Zimmer and Peacock for the week starting the 11th of January. We also put a little book, um, a little um, reference out there for something called Hunting the Deceitful Turkey. So if any of you are interested in um, wearables and wearable biosensors and continuous glucose monitoring, then this book by John Smith, and it is free, um, it's definitely worth a read because um, it will tell you about the history of CGM and non-invasive glucose monitoring and give you an, an insight so you, you don't necessarily have to repeat the mistakes of the past. So that's definitely worth um, a read and we wanted to just kind of promote that in general. Um, at Zimmer and Peacock, we are always being asked about doing um, small prototype screen printing runs for people. Um, so we've therefore expanded that, um, that facility um, put some new extraction hoods in there and printers and things like that. So we put a little photograph out there of that. So if you know people who are interested in having a custom screen printed work done, um, then Zimmer and Peacock has, um, has all the facilities in place. And we also have it set up. So it's very easy to kind of find out the pricing on that kind of thing as well. Um, we've also put a call out for nitrate for people to be beta testers on our nitrate sensor. Um, so at Zero and Peacock, we've been working on this nitrate sensor for the last kind of year. Um, it's very matured at this point, and so we're ready. To, we're, we've formally said, look, if you want to be beta testers for this, um, then we've put a, an application form on our website. People can fill it out, and they can um, they can request to be a beta tester on our nitrate sensor. Um, now I'm going to change gears slightly. So we've been working on this alpha testing or this this new website called ZP Academy. And the ZP Academy is really part of our kind of philosophy of, um, you know, in, it, at Zimmer and Peacock, you know, we're quite passionate about biosensing and electrochemical biosensing and in vitro diagnostics. And we realize that, you know, in order to kind of push that agenda, you know, sometimes you need to kind of give people the kind of training and education in order to engage with that kind of technology. So we've put a, a new um, website out called ZP Academy where people can register. And it basically uh, it has videos which can be watched and then there's quizzes associated with those videos and there can be a whole series of videos and then there can be an exam at the end of it. So it's just a way of people being able to follow a more sort of traditional course material and get a sort of sense of accomplishment at the end of it. So we've um, we went kind of uh, we've had it we've been building it up for the last couple of months but we sort of went live with it um, today. So then there was a couple of specific courses um, for biosensing people. So there's a particular course for almost introduction to biosensors. So I definitely suggest um, signing up and having a read of that. And then there was a course that kind of follows on from it, which is electrochemical techniques for biosensor developers. So in the first course, I would want you to kind of get a sense of what a biosensor is. And in the second course, we would definitely want you to um, then actually do the you know then actually get some of the science and engineering that's required so that was the news from zimmer and peacock for the week starting the um 11th of january 2021 as i say today's the 70th of january 2021 um as you can see it's, we packed it in there in that in this vlog and podcast but it's definitely been a busy week and as always if you've got any questions um please reach out to us at zimmer and peacock okay thanks very much